Hey friends and welcome. Today I want to take you along as we do some major thrifting. With being pregnant and especially now that I'm in my third trimester, I feel like none of my clothes fit anymore, or at least not the way that I want them to. I've been living in leggings and a handful of borrowed or rented pieces, but even a lot of those are starting not to fit. So I feel like it's time. I spent the past few days saving some maternity outfit inspiration on Pinterest, and I really want to focus on finding some bigger pieces that will work for me now in pregnancy as well as postpartum so I just pulled up at our first thrift store let's go in fingers crossed we can find some good pieces let's see what we can find <laughs> To our next stop. Ugh, too bad those aren't just a couple sizes smaller. Love that look. Just going to skip this whole section. No point. Ooh, actually, <laughs> do we need to stop there? Maybe. Here first though. pieces. Let's give them a little try on. But before we do, just need to give a little shout out to what ended up being a champ of a thrifting outfit. This top combined with leggings and a pair of mules that were really easy to slide on and slide off made trying things on just so simple and straightforward. Now let's try everything on and I want to try to kind of style them up the way I'm actually planning to wear them so you can really get a sense of if a piece is going to work for us or not because even though I did try on a couple of these pieces in a few of the stores that I went to, it's really hard to tell when you're not in your native environment and pairing that item of clothing with the other things in your wardrobe. So that's what I want to do right now. And yeah, let's get started. Let's see here. Oh, this is so soft and comfortable. So starting off with a bit of a softball, literally from the moment I saw this sweater, I knew it was going to be perfect. It is probably the softest material I've ever felt, like no joke, this thing is, it feels like you're wearing a cloud, but I love the neutral color, the stripe, like every single one of these colors is just perfection. The silhouette of this is great. We have room to grow. Big, big fan of this one. Let's see here. This one is from American Eagle originally. It looks like it was $8, so a little bit on the pricier side, but I did get this at one of the nicer consignment stores. So honestly, still a pretty good deal for that and a fraction of what I would have paid for it now. So let's see, I think I'm gonna rate this like a nine out of 10, which is high, but you guys like, I'm a comfort first person and <laughs> this is so comfy. Okay, next item, let's see here. So this is definitely like less traditional maternity, but I'm kind of excited about that because I think that this is a piece that I'll wear like past maternity, postpartum, all of that. So as I was pinning a lot of the inspiration for maternity outfits, I saw a lot of people and I really loved the look of kind of wearing a more cropped sweater with like a little silk skirt dress, even like a knit skirt or knit dress, I think. All of those just are like so beautiful, so cute. I wanted to kind of replicate that. I thought I had like the perfect dress for that. This is it, obviously. But I thought that this was kind of like a fun, yeah, look. And definitely something that's like a little bit dressier, which is good because I don't have a lot 
right now that works for dressy, especially in the winter months. The nice thing too is that the sweater actually has a decent amount of length, so I don't, uh, I don't feel like it's the most flattering, but I totally can get away with just wearing it down if I wanted to wear it with like some maternity pants or anything like that. So let's see, I think, let's go seven out of 10, 7.5. I feel like this is definitely one of those pieces though that I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna get a good bit of wear out of. It's like a good staple. Oh, I think I forgot to mention too, that last sweater was five bucks, so great deal. That is cute, yeah. Okay, first off, love the sweater. It's beautiful, we'll talk about it in a second, but first, we need to talk about pants. Why are maternity pants so hard to find? Like I probably found five pairs total of maternity pants in the three stores that I went to and they all sucked. They were nowhere near my size. The belly band was super stretched out and like the one pair that I saw that actually looked like they would fit me were like this like gross pair of like skinny jeans with the major ribbing. It wasn't a good look. So I think my strategy is going to be just to keep wearing leggings. I might invest in a pair of maternity leggings that just go a bit higher. All of my regular ones still fit. However, like they're just becoming more and more low rise. So I think I might do that. But then apart from that, I'm probably going to try to rent most of my maternity pants because like I know that's something I can do. And especially with baby showers and whatnot coming up, I know that I'm going to be renting pieces anyways. So that is what I'm thinking. However, I did find one pair of pants that I actually like. They're kind of like pajama slash professor pants. I don't even know how to describe them, but it's like a, maybe it's a cord, like a really fine corduroy plaid. And I think, Sure they're originally from Madewell. But what I really like about them is that they have a stretchy waistband. So I can wear them now, but hopefully also too going forward. Like there's some room in the band for them to stretch. And then also I think I could probably get away with using one of those like belly extender things too, just to give me a few more inches even when I get towards the very end of my pregnancy. So definitely a little bit more of a statement piece, but they're extremely comfortable and I feel like it's just a good like way to be able to switch up my clothing so that I'm not just wearing like my one pair of borrowed maternity jeans, leggings, or like rental pieces. That said, they aren't 100% flattering. So I think I'm gonna give them a seven out of 10. Oh, and these were $19. So I think that's the most expensive item that I got, but I was just really excited to find pants. And then for this sweater, it is again, super comfortable. I love the cable knit on the sleeves and kind of like down the front, the silhouette of this is so perfect. I love that we got some room to grow into it, but also like, I like the way that it looks now too. So I feel like it's the perfect, like can be oversized now and probably will still be a little bit oversized even towards the end of pregnancy, but like, less so but i think it'll look great either way and let's see here this one was 14 dollars originally from american eagle and i just love a good chunky button up cardigan again i just feel like i'm going to be wearing this all winter long okay so from pretty nice you go to super casual <laughs> so sometimes during the winter i just kind of want to feel like i'm wearing a bag like just a big cozy sweater that's not meant to look nice, just to be casual, to be comfortable. It's the kind of thing that I sleep in, work in during the day, probably like run some errands in as well. And I feel like this perfectly fits the bill, which I'm excited about because honestly, all of my like formerly oversized clothing is just not that anymore. And so this is, and that makes me happy. Also, I really like this color. It's like a purpley brown and i'm here for it this is i think this was originally from h and m i paid 13 dollars for it so definitely a little bit pricier for a thrifted hoodie but honestly when i saw this and then again when i put it on like this thing is so comfy it was just speaking to me i feel like when writing loungewear you kind of have to take it 
you know, with a grain of salt, like obviously this is something that's meant to be casual, meant to be comfy. So I am going to kind of prioritize the comfy and just like color the vibe that I was going for all of that in my writing. But I'm going to give it an eight. And then this one I'm super excited for. Okay, this, I'm just going to say it now, might be my favorite find. It's definitely up there. Want to roll this up? It will not. Okay, so when I was at Goodwill, I found a Carhartt button down. This was a size extra large, so several sizes up from what I would typically wear. However, I love a good like oversized plaid. I feel like the colors of this are just perfection. I saw a lot of kind of like inspiration images on my Pinterest for like oversized flannels and like even like a flannel tied around the waist with some maternity leggings things like that i feel like this is just one of those really versatile pieces that i'm going to be able to just get a lot of wear from especially i'm thinking like towards the very end of my pregnancy like late march early april and i'm so excited too because this is the kind of oversize that will stay oversized on me even when i'm like nine months pregnant which i know is just hard to do oh and bonus points too because it's from goodwill which means i paid five bucks for it so i think we're gonna have to give this another eight out of ten maybe 8.5 got another spring summer piece so keeping that oversized fit going, this is another piece that I really see myself wearing in the spring, kind of leading into summer during that like late days of pregnancy, postpartum time frame. Love the fact that it has plenty of room. It's very flowy. I just feel like it's a good staple piece. Like you can't go wrong with denim. I think this one was another Madewell. Yeah, again, originally from Madewell paid 13 bucks for this and I like it really like the fact that it's long enough to wear with I'm actually wearing maternity pants right now so I like that it's long enough for me to have the maternity pants on and for you not to see any of like the belly band also like the buttons down the front should be good for nursing so all around yeah it feels like a solid top I think I'd give this what like a 7 7.5 maybe I feel like it's just a good versatile piece and this one ugh, I'm not as sure about Oh, I don't like this. <sighs> so this is why trying things on is important because I liked this in the store. I thought it had a cool kind of like resort wear linen-y type of feel to it. But now seeing it on me, like this just is not doing it for me. Got it at Goodwill, so only five bucks. So we don't lose that much on this because I have a feeling I'm going to be immediately donating this. Okay, wait, how do you do this even? That's probably the best time to get it. I just, I don't feel like it's doing anything for me. I mean, honestly, it's not the worst. I'll give it that. I'd probably give this like a four out of 10. I feel like this shirt had a lot of potential, but I just don't think it lived up to it. So call it there. Let's try on something else. We only got a couple items left. So here we are going for nothing except supreme coziness <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna say it yes this looks like a dress and realistically i will probably just wear this as a sleep shirt once i finish with like pregnancy postpartum all the things however i have heard from so many people that towards the end of pregnancy and then especially like early days postpartum a lot of people and i feel like i will be included in this really enjoy wearing just like a big oversized tee with bike shorts or leggings. And I mean, wearing this now, I can say it is incredibly cozy, incredibly comfortable. So I could 100% see myself doing just that. That was the inspiration for this shirt. It was on the pricier side because it's Free People, which honestly, I just love. Free People does really good, cozy clothing. Like this shirt, let me just say, is so, so soft. But because it's free people, of course, it was a bit more expensive, so I paid $14 for this. However, like I said, I will for sure be using this as like a sleep shirt slash lounge shirt, just like for years to come. So not concerned about that. Really like the color, big, big fan. And yeah, it is just oversized t-shirt dreams is how I'm going to describe this. We're going to rate this a, see, I feel like looks wise, I should go six out of 10. However, 
the comfort factor, like this thing is so soft, has to boost it up at least one. So seven out of 10, a solid piece that I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of wear from. All right. So last piece, this sweater, and before you even say, didn't you just buy another sweater in that exact color? Yes, I did. However, what I'll say is, this is a color that I already know that I like. I have multiple like white cream sweaters in my closet and I love wearing them. Now, most of them don't fit me right now, so I can't wear them, but I know that buying like multiple sweaters in this color is actually a good idea so long as, you know, obviously silhouette wise, they aren't identical because it's tried, it's tested, I know I like it, and so I know I'm going to wear it. So that out of the way, what I like about this sweater is past the comfort check, which if I haven't already made abundantly clear, is super important to me and has been like increasingly important the further I get into pregnancy. Also love the silhouette of this. I feel like this collar style is really nice and I feel like it's quite flattering. Definitely like a bit more on the trendy side, but honestly just makes me even more glad that I found it thrifted. Also love the length of this because something that I have really struggled with is just not owning a ton of sweaters that are long enough to go past the belly band on maternity jeans. And this goes like well beyond, which is really, really nice. So I think I might give this another eight. It's comfy, it's versatile. It's like exactly what I'm looking for right now. So that's everything that I found while I was out thrifting. And as you could probably tell, I have definitely been gravitating towards more oversized, looser items of clothing while I'm pregnant. And I feel like it's kind of tough because on one hand, like I know that some of the tighter things look better. They're more flattering, all of that but I just haven't been finding them comfortable. So very, very excited we were able to find some just beautiful kind of more oversized flowy items that I'll be able to wear in the months to come. I still have three months left of pregnancy and then of course postpartum, it's going to take a little bit of time for my body to get back to normal too. So we do have a good solid chunk of time during which I'll be able to wear all these pieces. Now, I would love to know what was your favorite piece that we found? Be sure to let me know in the comments or if you did have a recent thrifting score, love to hear about that as well. So let's chat down there. But as always friends, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.